Aiyya, the schoolboy always talk nonsense one. Where got ceiling rose connect? Fan connect to ceiling rose caught fire. Really, me? Three core cable can fall out fire, me? Can draw so many M, me? Can caught fire, ah? Really, ah? Let's see what the schoolboy say, lah. Welcome back to Computer and Electrician. I'm Confucius Teo. Last two weeks, we have two houses caught fire due to electrical work. Let us see one of the pictures. Over here, the fire actually started from here. Okay, this was burned. They are very lucky that they are at home during this process. The fire broke up over here, and it was plugged to a multi plug here. Let us take a closer look over this area and look at here. The fire has already started, and the circuit breaker doesn't trip. Look at how old the circuit breaker is. The circuit breaker is 45 years old. They are very lucky that this, the fire stopped and the person quickly shut down the supply. Look at here. This is the burn portion. It is the same example over here. This is the burn wire. Okay. The current flow through the shorter wire and go back to the source and create a high current when there's a low resistance. Look at the age of the plug and look at the, the age. How many years old it is? This is a very, very old three-core cable and most of it is attached to a water heater. Prepare and prevent. Don't repair and repent. They are very lucky. Somebody is at home, they stop the fire. If not, it could be worse. Please go and take a look at your water heater connection. If you have doubt, call a licensed LEW to come out to do a check on your water heater installation. And don't call a person which has a class 3 driving license. That doesn't help because he knows what is driving. He don't know what is electrical work. Alright? For those people who have pets at home, please take a look over here. Check the condition of the wire regularly. Wire crack cord should be replaced and repaired immediately. You can't wait, okay? We have been through a lot of houses where Naughty kitten, naughty puppy, they like to chew on those wire cord. Please, if you have them at home, do a due diligence, go and inspect your wire once a month or twice a month. It is for your own good and it is also for the pet's safety. Another electrical origin that we can see, overloading assistive current full load that might cause ignition in the conductor. This is very common. Local resistance. Local resistance, that means the resistance is inside the area. That's why they call it local. This is a multi plug that's commonly used in Singapore. And this is a fluorescent tube which commonly burn. Now I'm going to share with you another case story. When there's a power trip, you can reset it, but reset at your own risk. Let us look at this case study over here. The occupant experienced a power trip when he switched on all the electrical appliances after returning home. Upon resetting the consumer unit, he went about his routine and noticed the sm smoke at the second level of the three stories terrace house. Thereafter, thereafter, the master bedroom caught fire and the fire was started from the socket outlet he buy from overseas. Internet has give us great convenience so we can purchase anything with a few clicks of our finger. Remember certain things that we buy online. Are they properly protected? I purchased some fan in the internet and they come with 13M fuse inside the plug top. It is overrated for the wire size. For your safety, please replace it with a 3M or 1M fuse subjected to the electrical load. This will be another video. I don't want to make it too long. Let us continue. This will be the last case story that I'm going to share. An electrical assessment was done on a commercial building. Okay. Auditors found numerous risks which include electrical fire hazard, electrical shock hazard, faulty electrical equipment due to improper maintenance. Recommendations were provided in the report to eliminate and mitigate those risks. Customer decide to wait and possibly not do anything. This sounds very familiar. Let us get back to the case study now. It was already highlighted in the audit. They need 
to do repair and look at the damages this happened look at this look at how much damage can a fire hazard comes from look at this LV panel look at the distribution mark. look at the burn damage and look at all this there's a well saying prepare and prevent don't repair and repent electrical fire is real you don't see it doesn't mean they, they, are, they don't exist just last week we have two person who call us their house caught fire I'm here to create an awareness always look for a licensed electrician call the company and ask them who is your licensed electrician find out their name their license number and get contact number from them and call them to verify are they representing the company under their licensing all right last few words that i got to tell you prepare and prevent don't repair and repent fire is a good servant and he is a very bad master don't let things happen good day bye your father uh, worked electrical work so many years uh, 20 years uh, so long uh, nobody asked me for license driving license i have uh, electrical license i don't have that's why uh, not my problem remember uh, not my problem sure give you discount discount on my work uh, until you happy ah uh, i will discount until you happy because my work all discount my work always discount one uh.